Uh, thank you for staying with us on the morning edition of this July 31st. Uh, we are moving now to regional news as the Guyana Court of Appeal on Thursday unanimously dismissed an appeal challenging the legality of the recount order which preceded the recount of the votes cast during the March 2nd general and regional elections in Guyana. The court also ruled that Chief Elections Officer Keith Lowenfield is subject to the directions of the Guyana Elections Commission and we are joined by Sanjeev Datadin who is an attorney at law for the PPPC and also a candidate. Good morning, sir. Morning, Mr. Datadin. Good morning to you. Good morning to your listeners. Good morning to your viewers. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, what is the PPPC's position with regard to the ruling by the appeal court in Guyana? Well, we welcome the ruling. The ruling was clear. Um, there is no doubt this has been the, the use of litigation by the APNU coalition has been essentially to delay and frustrate the process of a declaration of the winner. We all know, the whole country knows, and I think the whole Caribbean knows, what are the results because the recount was publicly done. The, in these proceedings, the Chief Justice in the High Court ruled that the applications were hopelessly flawed, had no prospect of succeeding. They nevertheless appealed that. The Court of Appeal, three judges in a unanimous decision said that the proceedings were frivolous, vexatious, and an abusive process. Um, the matters are res judicata. That means, um, as you would know, that these matters have been decided already by the court and the issues raised in these proceedings, as we have been contending in court, have been raised and determined by the Caribbean Court of Justice already. Exactly what you said earlier, that Mr. Lowenfield is under the direction and control of the commission. He does not have a discretion that is absolute to himself and that the recount is valid. These I'm matters have been determined in Ulita Moore and Eslin David. And uh, this Mr. is the Mr. third Dabbin, proceeding. Uh, as you're making that point, I'm just wondering, would there be any other legal proceedings to be expected? Or was the ruling by the Court of Appeal in Guyana uh, the final decision to be made with this issue? Well, in theory, um, an appeal to the Caribbean Court of Justice exists. Um, should they pursue, uh, choose to pursue an appeal to the Caribbean Court of Justice, it, the, they have the right, I guess, to do so whether they would get leave to appeal from the Caribbean Court of Justice and whether the Caribbean Court of Justice will go back over a decision that they gave a mere two weeks and four days, two weeks and three days ago. Um, I don't see that the court will be willing to grant leave in those circumstances. This is a blatant abuse. The, the circumstances that we are facing here, it's the same issues being brought to the court time and again. The court has on sev seven different courts, the High Court, the Court of Appeal, and the Caribbean Court of Justice, have pronounced over three different matters, Eslin David, Yulita Moore, and this one, Jones, have pronounced on these matters. They, they, they're exhausted. It is, there is no need for further litigation, but if litigation, as we believe, and I believe that this litigation is being used as a tool to delay and to obstruct the declaration of the winner of the election, then who knows? Is the unique circumstance in Guyana in this matter centered around the fact that, uh, from the, my best understanding of it, that the constitution in Guyana specifically states that only the Ghana Elections Commission can declare a winner and that that is at the center of this issue, the interpretation of that, uh, according to both the PPPC and at the APNU AFC coalition? No, I, I don't think that part is really disputed. Only the Guyana Elections Commission can declare a winner. That is true. I think what has happened is this. The chairman of the Elections Commission, by our constitution, must receive a report of the vote count from the chief elections officer. Now, the vote count, which was done uh, as far back as March, right after the elections, were found to be flawed. With the assistance of CARICOM, a high-level CARICOM team, and the meeting between the two leaders, 
there was an agreed recount and that is provided for and sanctioned firmly in law. So the recount took place. The recount was live streamed on, uh, on television, on social media, on radio. Um, all of the recount stations were live streamed, so the public was involved. What took place after that and the votes and the vote count after that, the whole world knew because it was publicly done. Upon that being done, everyone knew the figures. The PPPC won by 15,000, excuse me, 15,416 votes. And that is known. But what has to happen in our constitutional process is the chief elections officer must take those numbers and deliver it to GCOM. So he must prepare a report in a statutory form section 96 of our uh, representation of the people act what he did in the first instance is he deleted 230,000 votes with no explanation saying that he didn't think those votes were valid the commission directed that he not do so that he must bring the full numbers to them he then deleted 115,000 votes in his second report again no explanation his determination being that these were the only valid votes. He has no authority to delete votes. And then he now gave his last report, which is a third report. He has added 14,000 votes that no one knows where they came from. And surprise, surprise, all three of his reports have the APNU coalition uh, winning the election. But no one knows where he's gotten these votes from and why he's removing votes. He is saying that he is determined that this is valid, but he never did the count. He was never present when these things took place. So how is he making the determination? And we don't that, know. And Mr. Datadin, the answer to that question, I'm sure that you would want to provide uh, at a future point, as we do have to go to a commercial break, uh, that was the PPC a candidate and attorney at law, Sanjeev Datadin, giving us uh, the PPPC's perspective, and we thank him for that, in terms of what is happening in Guyana right now, uh, over four months, uh, with no election declared, as only the Guyana Elections Commission can declare a winner. Uh, we will go to a commercial break and return with the rest of Morning Edition.